Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We are back, baby, in the lovely, frigid Connecticut. We have to get right to work because we've been gone for almost a month and since I haven't been here, nothing has gotten done. So thankfully I got the garage pretty clean before we left, but there's a major thing that we have to do before we even start getting to work in the garage and that is recycling about 50 used tires. Although the inside of the garage looks pretty clean, the side of the garage where I keep all of my used tires is an absolute mess. So let's go get all those loaded on the trailer and bring them to our friend's shop where we recycle them. Also, this poor thing is so beaten up and this winter it's gonna get a massive refresh. I have a full fiberglass rear end waiting for it down at MA Motorsports. So when I get a chance, I'm gonna drop the car back down there for them to do the fabrication work to put it all back on. And I think we're gonna repaint the entire car also. On top of that, we got a massive care package from DEI for the JZX. So all that beautiful new work will stay protected and we won't have to worry about heat getting to places we don't want it to get to. One more thing, as I warm up in the garage, I need to thank you guys so much for the massive support on the last JZX shirt and sweatshirt drop. You guys exceeded my expectations and I hope all of you that purchased loved them because it was my favorite drop yet. I know I say that every time, but this one was the best and we sold out of sweatshirts, which is freaking mind blowing. It's the coolest thing in the world. Couldn't do it without you guys, so from literally the bottom of my heart. I can't thank you guys enough. It's really the coolest thing ever. And it makes continuing to do things like this possible. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Let's get these tires loaded on the trailer so we can get to work in the garage. Some cool stuff planned for today. <laughs> This is taking a little longer than I expected. Let me grab this when I'm finished up so I don't kill the battery on the camera. Tires and tires. Oh my God. I had a few more than I thought I did, but thankfully we have a friend where we can properly dispose these at a tire shop. So oh, I'm glad I can dispose of these and I don't have to pay five to 10 bucks a tire, which is kind of the going right here in Connecticut, which is absolutely insane. So <sighs> take a break and then we'll get into what we're getting into in the garage today. <laughs> nice one, Chris. Good morning, it's day two and we are getting right to work on the JZX and the JZX engine. I got a ton of parts in when we were gone and I wanna make as much progress as possible today because I've been slacking on this. So we have a bunch of stuff that we wanna get done on the engine and on the car before we put the engine in. So I'll go over that stuff when we get to it. Uh, we're gonna get right to it right now, Let's get to work. First up and long overdue, I got some titanium exhaust studs for the manifold from my boy Odyssey Fab. He makes a lot of JZX specific stuff. And the only one that makes like a full brake line kit, which we also got for that car, etc. So I'm gonna throw these in. Just kidding. These are the wrong size. Let's get to the next step. All right, so we just mounted the Dishworks five port fuel pressure regulator. I'm trying to make this as like OEM plus as possible. So I'm spending more time on it than I probably should, but here's what we've come up with. So we have the regulator mounted in the factory location on the side of the block. And before anybody says, you're not gonna be able to adjust it. These things really only need to be adjusted when it's getting tuned. Once it's tuned, you don't need to mess with it. So I'd rather have a more difficult time adjusting it during the tuning process and then I don't have to look at it again, which is kind of my like reasoning for mounting it here. It gets even better though. Feed from the tank is gonna go, is gonna go into the back of the fuel rail, return, is 180 off the fuel rail. It's gonna follow back the rail, come down here into the regulator. Doing this so it's as OEM looking as possible. We also have a massive care package from DEI. So we'll be covering all the fuel lines in heat sleeving. So if it's running near anything hot, we don't have to worry about it. But I'm making my first PTFE line today. I've never done PTFE, I've only done regular AN. So 
You guys are gonna learn with us. Let's get to work. All right, so this is the rough shape of what we're going for. This is the return line to the regulator. Regulator goes back to the tank and the feed from the tank goes to the back of the fuel rail. So we just have it mocked up to get a length, but we have the return running through the middle of the intake manifold. So, see, you can't even see it. Just like that. Can't even see it, it's beautiful. So we just measured length. We are gonna pull it out. We'll get some DEI heat sleeving for it, put the heat sleeving on, and then we'll cut it and put the other fitting on. But it's gonna be really good, I'm excited. I have never been more excited about how nice a line came out. How sick is that shit, dude, Chris? This thing looks great. It's so good, dude. So we have Dishworks Dash 6 PTFE line, Dishworks PTFE fittings, and DEI's heat sleeve, or fire sleeve, whatever you wanna call it, with their heat shrink. Oh, it looks so good. I am so fired up about this. We gotta throw this thing in right now, Chris. All right. So we have a 180 on the end of the frame, or on the end of the fuel rail. It sneaks back through the middle of the intake manifold down to the fuel pressure regulator. Oh, it looks so good. Shout out Dishworks and DEI for hooking me up with everything I need to do all the fueling and keep it safe in this car. It's a massive help. So this is one of the main ones. Once it's in the car, we'll be able to do the feed and return to the regulator and the rail, but I wanted to get this done because I wanted to tuck it away as nicely as possible. Good to go. Next step, let's go. Going back to the exhaust manifold studs, I ordered the wrong one, so I'm an idiot. But we also got JZX90 ABS delete brake lines, so we're gonna throw these in now, and then I'm gonna ceramic coat the engine bay before we put the engine in so it's protected, easier to clean, doesn't get as dirty, so let's go, baby. All right, we got the engine bay ceramic coated with G Technics Crystal Serum. Really quick, put the reel up we made right here. It's super corny, but that's all right. And I got all the family here helping me out tonight. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the engine in though. Oh, that reminds me, I need to put the bolt in for the steering column. Because if I don't do it now, I'll absolutely forget. <laughs> I'm gonna forget a lot. We're gonna put it in and I'm gonna go, shit, I shouldn't have put this in. I should have waited another day, but there's no time like now. And this is the only time there's ever multiple people in the garage. And Jeff will be yelling at me, watch out, watch out, you're gonna scratch it, watch out, watch out. So it'll be perfect having him here. If it's not going in now, it's never going in. <laughs> All right, let's get this damn thing in. Engine is freaking in, baby. I know it's a lot easier without the transmission on. I also understand there's a lot more things we could have done before we put the engine in, but timing belt, water pump, I'm waiting on that stuff still to show up. So when it shows up, we'll install it. But thankfully, there's plenty of room here. Oh, it looks so freaking good. I am fired up. The fuel line we made looks amazing. Now we're gonna put the car up in the air and we will make the feed and return fuel lines kind of the same way. I'll spare you guys the boringness of making the lines, but I'll show you how we come up with it. But enjoy some B-roll of the refreshed engine back in the JZX after what feels like a year. Welcome back, it is the next day. I spent some time organizing and I kinda wanna show it off because it looks pretty cool. Here we have our DEI and Dishworks shelf in the garage with spools of freaking fire sleeve. How cool is that? All the DEI products here. And then I decided to put a magnet strip there and I have all my Dishworks fittings organized there. Randoms down here, etc. But, since we got the engine in, something else showed up today and I want you guys to see it because I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet, so we're gonna see it together. 
Let's get the car down and then we can open the box up. Also, I never thought in a million years after putting this lift in that I'd be working on it, but it's just extremely convenient, especially for long-term projects like the JZX. I don't have to move it around all the time, but let's look at this bay one more time. Oh, it looks so freaking good. I know I've highlighted it in the past, but we went with a stainless Artec manifold, and we also went with a Garrett G3770 with a massive exhaust housing. This is, at the end of the day, gonna be a street car, so I'm not super concerned about response. I just want good power, so. Went with a bigger exhaust housing so we don't blow the thing up, but we can still make some good power. I think it's gonna be much better this way. I also got my Odyssey Fab brake lines in last night, which I believe I showed you guys, but looks pretty damn good. Waiting on the wiring specialties harness, which should be done in the next few days. We have the full Link ECU setup we're putting in this car. So many good people supporting me on this project, and I've like taken way longer than I'd like to to work on it, but we've just been so busy this summer traveling and driving that now that we're home, we can finally get to work on the car, which I am so excited to finally get done and on the road, shooting for like 600 wheel on ethanol. It's gonna be so exciting. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this box that we received from the other side of the pond. Cooling time, baby! So, when I was over at the LZ World Tour, I was talking to the boys at Phoenix Radiator and explained to them what I was doing with this car and how I wanted to upgrade it to a GZX100 radiator, which eliminates the use of a hydraulic fan, which the 90 uses. They said they'd help me out, and they said they have a few surprises in here for me, so let's open it up and see what we got. One minute, let me read this. All right, actually, this is really good. This is gonna explain what they said. We've sent you our JZX100 52 millimeter thick street series alloy radiator along with our JZX100 top and bottom silicone radiator hoses. We've also sourced you top and bottom radiator support mounts. These are stock Toyota and not included with a radiator setup, but we wanted to help you out. Your radiator is also custom laser engraved cut fan shroud with two 14 inch ball fans. This exact setup has been developed here by Daniel on his JZX90 street drift car, so we know it'll be perfect for your JZX. We have also set up a 10% discount code on our website, phoenixcooling.co.nz, for your subscribers and viewers. The discount code is GRANT10. I'll put it here right on the screen. And I can't thank the boys enough. This is so cool. Another paper to hang up on the wall. And uh, so shout out my boy Ben Jenkins. He's one of the homies that works at Phoenix and drives for them, so. Thank you guys so much. This is so freaking cool. Let's get this thing out of the box. It's polished. Fans, fan shrouds. Oh, I'm so fired up. Hello. So I couldn't find the rubber lower radiator buttons, but let's test fit this thing in there, make sure it looks good and fits. And then I'll go find those things after. Wow, this looks absolutely insane. I know, I know, there's no timing belt on it still. It's coming, I promise. But this radiator looks insane. I was kind of on the fence with doing electric fans, but I think I made the right decision. They're slim, cleans up the engine bay a bunch without having a massive shroud with a clutch fan. And the boys knocked it out of the park with this fan shroud too. It just looks insane. I'm so happy. Thank you again, Phoenix. Exceeded my expectations. It's just another great addition to the engine bay and uh, can't wait to get this thing running, get those fans working and see what this thing makes for power. It's gonna be spoicy. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys like the progress updates on the JZX. There is much more to come. If you like it, let me know down in the comments below. And if there's anything you think I could change, let me know too, because I'm open for suggestions. Thank you guys so much. See you in a couple days.